Hello everyone, my name is Anna Kogart and welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing fantastic. My voice is back to normal, so you can finally hear me properly again. And uh, let's get started on the rest of this to-do app. So, uh, what we're going to do now is build the actual table. And for that, we're going to need Material UI. So in order to get that installed, well, let's first search for Material UI. So material-ui.com. Uh, and uh, here we can get it. So let's go in here into the menu and say getting started installation. Uh, and here we have it yarn add at material UI dash core. So let's go to open up our terminal. My terminal has problems opening today. First of all, I'm going to start my symphony server again. You don't have to do this to get the packages, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I might forget uh, and yarn and core dev watch just like the previous times uh, and that will make sure that we are getting our app rendered so that's cool so let's see yarn add okay run that first so let's go through here uh paste that code in here so that's going to install the material UI at core uh or at material UI slash core whatever uh, you also need to include the Roboto font, and this is done with a link. So let's go to our template, uh, our template specifically, the base one. So we get it uh, installed in the uh, in the first section. I'm just going to add that. Another thing I need to add actually is a view meta tag. I always forget that. Very important. I'll put it in a link. Uh, I'll put it in the description down below. But basically, what it means is that. Um, that the width and the height of the the um, the window is going to match that of the device that you're using it on, um, something along those lines. It is a necessary tag, uh, otherwise you're going to get weird scaling issues, uh, and we don't want that. So I'm just going to apply that right here. Um, so that is the Roboto font setup, as well as that viewport thing that I always forget. Uh, here, this is the one. That one. It's on the W3 schools as well, if you want to check that out, but I'll put it in the link in the description down below. Uh, then alternative, uh, then additionally, sorry, we also need to get access to icons. So material icons, uh, and we need to install this one. So yarn at material UI slash icons. That's the one that we need. Paste that in the command as well. Run that. And there we go. Finally run yarn install to get everything sorted and we're golden. So with that being done, we can now start rendering an actual table. So we're going to remove these divs and instead we're just going to go straight to the table. Now the table, uh, like basically anything that is going to be like familiar with you from now on with the like, tables, uh, table rows, table head, table body, table cells. Those are all going to be differently named now. And if you want to look up exactly how this all works, you can always go to the material UI website, search for table, and it will tell you everything about them, uh, how to make a simple one, for example. And it will ch tell you that you can get a table container, table, table head, table row, table cell. This is basically some uh, yeah code you can already use if you want to. Uh, I don't need that. And what we need to do is import it again, alt enter, insert that. And there we go. So then we have a table uh, head. So every table has a table head. Uh, and inside there table row, okay, table row. And I'm just going to import the head going to import the table row. And uh, well, the first one, it's a to do app. So we're going to have headers on this. Um, so table cell, like so, gonna have two of them. Actually, I'm gonna fold them in and have two of them. Uh, the first one is going to be task because it's the task name, the thing that we got to do. And the second column is going to be actions. Okay. So the second column is going to be actions. So let's see what that looks like now. And there we go. We have a full screen table that shows everything. Um, now I'm not sure if table supports full width. No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, so it basically fills the entire screen as much as it can with the entire table. Uh, later we'll talk about app bars and all that sort of stuff through other tutorials, but this is just to get a basic to do app started. That's full screen. 
uh, and you well, don't have any other pages to worry about. Browser routers and that sort of stuff is going to come at a later date. So we got a task, we got actions. Uh, what I am going to do, however, is go to that cell and we can say align and say right. And that will align actions to the right, uh, as well as all the stuff that's going to be in it later. And that is important because well, I want the left cell to have as much room for the entire task, whereas the right one that only needs to contain the actions doesn't need to be that large. So that's the table head. And then we get a table body. And we can fill that up again, insert a table row. Uh, and then, or actually this is where we're gonna start getting the to-dos in. So instead of this, we're going to go into context or actually, sorry, curly brackets because we need to do JavaScript. Uh, let's go to our context, it's called to-dos, okay? So we're gonna do context.todos.map. Uh, dot map. And then in parentheses, we want to say a name for each individual to-do, so to-do, arrow function, and then parentheses. Why parentheses is so we can return HTML, whereas if you wanted to return JavaScript, you use curly brackets. So what we're going to return here is a table row uh, that has a table cell uh, and inside there, or we have another table cell actually, and inside here is going to be the to do dot name. So I think I call it name this time. Yeah, to do's have a name. That name is gonna be called here to do dot name. So that's gonna just render out fine. Uh, or, oh, sorry, need to put that within curly brackets. And there we go, now it calls it. It just bloops through the entire array and lists them. That's all it does. Uh, and then next to this, we want to have two buttons. Now we could do icon buttons or we could do regular buttons. Um, I think for today, we're going to do icon buttons because they're actually kind of cool. Uh, so actions, what we want to do. Um, we want to actually use material UI icons. So let's go through material icons, material icons. There we go. And there's a list of a thousand of them. Uh, and we want to have the icon for, uh, edit, so edit, which is going to be a pen, right? Uh, so we're not going to do a button this time. We're going to do an icon button, a little bit different, but. Uh, you'll see how that works exactly later. Uh, so I'm just going to copy this import edit, put the edit in here, icon button, import that, and then we want to call the edit icon right there. So what do you, what, what those icons will look like is like this. That's what they will look like. Uh, you could do other normal buttons if you'd want to, or just say edit or whatever. But I think I think I like this method, so we're going to do that. Um, now that table cell again needs to align to the right because it's going to float over and we want it to go to align to the right. So there we go. Um, and then we want to add another button of course, because that's not the only one that we want. So we're going to add another icon button and inside there we're going to put, and I'm just going to fold this one in because it's not going to take up that much space. Uh, and inside there we want to have a, um, delete icon as well. So we, sh we should be able to edit them. We should also have delete icon. So delete, and we want the delete forever one. Uh, we could do any of these, but we're gonna do delete forever. Or actually, you know what? We're gonna use delete because we're gonna add a confirmation window and then have it delete forever. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. So icon button, import this one as well. Delete icon, the delete icon, add that to that list. And there we go. So now this is what it looks like. You got your delete icon, your edit icon. Looks very familiar to Google's Gmail and that's because it's the exact same. So with those icons set and done, let's see, are we on? No, I wanna be, I wanna be on 100% size on the screen. So we have a good feeling of how big this all is. Um, so we got our task, we got our actions on the right. We got plenty of space for the entire task. Uh, and, we, and we already have one task. So let's just, uh, you know, let's just add a couple more. Just add a couple more. There we go. And this is what it's gonna look like, basically. So we got to edit, we got our uh, delete. And we also wanna do an add. So in order to do that, we're just gonna go back to the doo-doo table 
And just before we start rendering the first row inside here, I'm going to add my own table row. And I'm going to add a table cell that contains a text field. A text field in Material UI is, well, a pretty cool looking thing, actually. Uh, if we take a look at it in just a moment, uh, the text field is actually very, very useful. It's just a basic input field, but it has very cool styling uh, and that sort of thing. I think you'll love it. So we're going to add a text field. Uh, and uh, hold on, that is supposed to collapse. There we go. Insert that. And uh, let's see, what else do I need? Uh, and that is the uh, table cell for uh, the icon button for add. So let's go to the icons again, go for add. That's the one I want. Import that. And go back to here. Add icon, add that in the middle here. And there we go. Going to make it a little bit more readable. There we go. And that text field here we'll talk about in just a second. But this is what it will look like now. So we got a text field. We got that icon. Again, that icon, we need to go into that table cell, say a line to the right. Uh, and that text field, we want to apply full width and set it to true. Uh, and the reason we can do, uh, and, and what it will do is it will expand it as far as it goes. And that's in this case going to be this entire uh, length. Um, perhaps we could also fill it entirely and just have an end ador uh, adornment or something. With that being done, we got our table, we got our edits, we got our deletes, we got our add, uh, uh, add icon uh, button, we got our add and text field. But this has been it for now. So thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something again. And this time all about Material UI. Um, we're going to, of course, add more things. And we're going to make it look even better. But for basic things, this will just do. Um, so again, thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.